Welcome to Balaba Day, everybody. <laughs> Hope you're absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> we are live, of course, uh, on the regular channels that you watch us. And, of course, the interactive show. Now, before we go any further, what you've got to do is you've got to like this. And you've got to subscribe by hitting the notification bell and share it. Share, yes? share, share. That's right. <laughs> That's what you got to do. So, a lot to talk about today, Rhoda. Yes, so much to go. Welcome, everybody, to Mala Monday. And yes, we're taking it a bit from a different angle today. So, Are we? you know, definitely do go. So, I'm quite excited about it. So, such a lot of information happening in the head right now. But you know what? Sometimes you just need to highlight some of the things that's happening around us. Yeah. What we're reflecting on today is like the news that wasn't, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> just what we think about it, which is a, a little, that's got quite a bit of things. But I actually want to start off here and just mention this quickly. What I want you to do is, if you've got a question or a comment regarding this, and this is one of the two of the things we will address, then please put it out there. We'll, it was purely just our take on it. So oh, uh, that, that is, it needs to be said. It is purely just our take on it. Exactly. But I want to I want to talk about this because it is the 7th of, uh, of November, yes. which means things things have moved. I things have moved because I'm still getting, I'm still saying Happy New Year. <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, we, we're now in November <laughs> and you know time has moved, the year sort of shifted. I mean, we're getting ready for summer. Yeah. And then it happens to me every year, this time, yeah. that I'm like, there's Christmas trippings everywhere. <laughs> Right? It's so true. And then I always think to myself, is it, isn't it a bit too early? Exactly. Don't, I, don't, do you feel, or, or I, what's not, isn't it? I feel exactly the same, Dougal. And you know what? It started actually in October already. Yeah. Which was kind of scary because, you know, it's, it was one of those things that you walk into the shop and it, it really just knocks the wind out of your sail. You, you, it, it takes a step back and you're like, oh no, seriously, are we there now? You know? And then I think even worse was the fact that the heat, all of a sudden, I was walking around with my slip slops and the shorts. I mean, you know, a week ago we were walking with our jackets and yeah. socks and, you know, and now all of a sudden it's like that. And this is what I'm feeling right now in the shops. I'm a little bit scared going into the shops. It gives me a bit of anxiety at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think, do you think, that advertising for Christmas and having all the Christmas paraphernalia and talking about trimmings and all of that okay. is a bit early. Because surely it is. And I mean, as a consumer, you benefit, right? Because there's the Christmas special, you get the leaflet, exactly. the catalog, whatever it is, when you're in a store. Exactly. My personal issue with it is because I don't have Christmas, Christmas budget yet. Uh, they, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why I'm saying, like, I, I just feel it's a little early. And it's purely down to not having the Christmas budget. <laughs> it comes down to the Christmas budget. And then I think the, the catering at this point, starting now, because I mean, the one oil aisle that I went into, um, check it out, day, it was just Christmas trimmings. And you know, it was quite amazing because they got all these little cute little things. Yeah. So I think it's also a case of me again, probably looking at it from the table side, setting up side, having people over for, you know, for lunch. Uh, it's really a case of getting ideas now for that time. So maybe it's also a good Can't kind of prepping. Can you use last year's things? Uh, you could do, girl, you know, but you know what I've realized? That this is the funny season and it's a case it's for the children. You know, so for me, I get excited because my daughter was walking with me yesterday and she's like, oh, mommy, we need to get the Father Christmas suit because she wants to be Mother Father Christmas this year. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, looking at that, I was like, okay, you know, it's about the kids because we're actually inviting um, some kids over as well. Just make it exciting for them. Mm, you know? mm, so mm. this is what it's about, Dougal. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. It doesn't yeah. change the fact that all the shops have been advertising <laughs> for the last while. <laughs> Christmas trees, Christmas music, all oh. of that. Um, it is for me I, I just, I, for me, it's just like <laughs> because it's the reality. It's the dawning of like the time is coming. It's yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's not that far away. You got twenty odd days. Then November is done, and then basically, um, well, twenty five days. Then wouldn't it? So it's yeah. like 40, 48 days if you think of it that if way. You think of it that so, way. So 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 it's not it's not a long time to go. So the question is, and I would add to the question to the viewers, what is a good time? I'm going to give you two options. What is a good time to start Christmas advertising and everything? Beginning November or middle later November? Vote. Yeah. Option one or option two? Exactly. What do you say? So Beginning November and end of October or towards the end of November? Me personally, mm. I would probably do the 
kind of the end of November. <laughs> I'm that type of person. Or oh, mid, mid. I would say mid, <laughs> mid, mid, mid. Meet me halfway. <laughs> but as a retailer, you wouldn't have a choice. As retailer, a retailer, you wouldn't have a choice. That has got to do with money at yeah. the end of the day. I think the same argument stands with some people as like, when do I put up my Christmas lights? So is no, it no, two weeks before the, the time? Yeah, yeah. Or is it a week before no, the time? Is it a month a before the time? Is it a when, when, when you take it all. There's dates for that, Rhoda. Are you serious? I'm just saying, you can't be walking around in a winter jacket in South Africa <laughs> and then you hear jingle bells and you know Christmas specials. That, that's my issue. I'm just saying. And that's it comes true. down to not having the Christmas budget. It is. It because is. this is... Do you know what happens? Mm. Because now you get to the till. You didn't buy somebody. Do you know what I've bought people? Battery packs. <laughs> I bought that, their batteries, I've given Chris, I've given straws, <laughs> whatever I grab at the till is a Christmas present. Straws, have you had a True. straw? No, I, I actually, it's wrapped already. It's wrapped, it's wrapped. You don't even have to wrap it. Well done, Dougal. I like that one. I think Chewing I must do gum. that. Chewing <laughs> gum. It's the paper. Mm. What else do like. you want to talk about? Well, there's a lot of news happening at the moment. So one of the things I kind of read about, did you know that KZN had an earthquake this weekend? Oh, no. Yeah, that oh, is sorry. too. Yeah, so the Twitter and, um, you know, all the social media went up a blaze, apparently. And, yeah, it was real. It really happened. So there was definitely an earthquake, and everybody kind of felt the tremors within um, KwaZulu-Natal. And as far as we know, no no, no damage, no uh, damage. injuries, that sort of thing. Okay, nothing, good. Nothing, nothing nice. like that. But I kind of do feel sorry, you know. I mean, I'm looking, I looked at some carte blanche um, uh, information as well regarding the water, the sewage, you know, they've really been hit, you know, and yeah, what has happened in, I feel for them, you know, and it's now the time of the year for them as well to get visitors, so I'm hoping and praying that everything works mm. out for them, and you know. Yeah, if you're watching in that neck of the woods, man, yeah, with the, with yeah, the floods, it, the it's, floods been a, and, yeah. it's, it's been a horrible time. It's been a horrible time. And now time. earthquakes as well. Exactly. But on the earthquake thing, I mean, we... This is becoming quite a bit. I know in the Western Cape some while ago, there was like a bit of a tremor. We there was had. one in the middle of the country as well. There's like... Yes, 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 Dougal. So we mm. have to be aware of the fact that these climate change things are happening around us. We have yeah. to be wary of this. But you know what? We are basically living on an, uh, the earth. We are visitors to this earth. So you know what? We never know what's going to be happening next. Like the way you said you visitor to the earth. We I always visitors. thought we are out of the world, but all right. <laughs> we visitors. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, yeah. So... Uh, uh, so yeah, a bit of, bit of a, and I mean, and that, that, that's huge, huge news. It is. I was quite shocked. I, I didn't even, even know, know if, about it. It's like a proper, I didn't even know what to do. I knew you could lie in the bathtub or something when you stand <laughs> under the, the door or something like You remember like you see yes, in the movies, yes. like with a bathtub, I don't know. My bathtub is not like porcelain, like that sort of metal thing. It's like plastic. I, I got it in my I've experienced it thrice now, Dougal. It was in Johannesburg. I've experienced it where I actually ran out of the house because everything was rattling and everything was moving. And then the other two times, basically, I was in the USA, and I was laying down in the bed, bed started shaking, and the TV started wobbling, and I was none aware of the fact sure. that I was actually within an earthquake. And um, that wasn't really a tremor. It was basically an earthquake. I think it was a 4.5. And then a week later, another one happened. So, uh, yeah, not far from there, some of the structures got damaged. You know, there was damage involved. So it's quite an experience. It's not something yeah. to take lightly, well, especially if you haven't experienced it before. <laughs> Yeah, because there's constantly tremors, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just like a case of, of what you feel and not. Exactly. Yeah, but, uh, but good luck there to everybody, man. Absolutely good luck there to everybody. Uh, we, we've got one or two comments that we're going we're gonna to touch on those as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I want to put this out there as well. I mean, uh, KZN has had uh, the, the, I mean, floods and, 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 and now this, and then there's been one or two other things as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we, we constantly, like you say, we, we visit this, man. We, we visit this. Do the right hey, Hubert's got planet. a message. Hubert says, Christmas isn't a season, it's a feeling, and I'm not feeling it yet. Way too early for me. Hubert, <laughs> you need to get to the shops. There is no way you can miss it. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you absolutely now. Because I will... And, and, I, and I hear you. I hear what Hubert is saying. Because because this is the feeling. And I just want to That's go back true. to that. Just this is the feeling. Because you, you're not feeling Christmassy yeah. yet. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And, it, and it's everywhere in your in your face in, in terms of face. advertising and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. I suppose you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm laughing now because uh, I love my Facebook. I'm probably a Facebook freak. I um, like sitting and watching I've it. heard of it. And, and Hubert actually had a brilliant post this morning. And I think it's very relevant probably to one of the conversations we could have, which is a naughty conversation. But it's a conversation I think it needs to happen. It was about the traffic. 
and the roads within Cape Town, Johannesburg, but preferably more talking about the Cape Town drivers. And Hubert, I read the whole post because it was one long text you wrote and I liked it. Yeah. And it's about the drivers on the right hand side oh, that yeah. needs to give way to the oncoming traffic and keep the fast lane open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, look. look. I heard you, you but. It, uh, it's, <laughs> it is one of the, uh, and, and, and it's the worst thing if you're driving 80, you're pulling up beside somebody who's coming 40 or, or whatever the, 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 the limit is exactly. or whatever the person is driving. But, 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 but the problem is you've got to adhere to, to the rules. And you to know what, and, and, and more importantly, everybody's in a rush now. Exactly. At that exactly. time of the year, people are in a rush. Everybody wants to get home. Exactly. I've got a very simple rule because... And, and, and this is the mindset where people got to change, where people go, oh, the taxis. Like, I mean, let's be honest. There's not a driver here, right, mm. that don't blame 80% or 90% of the blame on taxis. <laughs> if you, the person, that don't, well done. <laughs> well done. Most pe so I've, I've had, because I've had discussions with this, I've had arguments mm. about this, serious arguments about this. And then one day... A gentleman said to me, you know what I do? It's a, quite a mature gentleman. And, and he said to me, you know what I do? I said to him, no, what do you do? And he says, the way I look at it is I'm one in the car. There's 18 people. If it's a legal taxi, probably 62 people, but who knows? <laughs> the point is, there's more people there. Let them go. Let them go. They're probably more in a rush than what I am. <laughs> but it's also somebody who was a pensioner. You know, pensioner people, they never in a rush because they arrive early. They yeah. early. The event is at well, 12 and 3 o'clock in the morning. They're already getting dressed. <laughs> they early. So, and this is the thing, right? Yeah. And I've had that. So, yeah. where, where people come, you know, just, just, just let them go. It's just courteous, yeah, exactly. man. Exactly. But, but, but with that being said, yeah. the most vehicles that have allowed me to cut in and change lanes has been taxis. Thank you very much. I was actually going to say exactly The most the courteous yeah. things I've been is taxis. And I ask them, can I? And then they like yeah, to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. And I, d I just really, really want to get back to the fact that, you know what, guys? If you're in the fast lane, it's called the fast lane for a reason. Yeah. If I decide to drive whatever illegal speed limit I'm probably driving, I have to face the reality and consequences of that because I chose to do that. If yeah. I do basically at that point get a fine, that's my doings. But you as the person driving 120 because in most, and this is one of the arguments and fights that we, I myself had with a lot of people as well, is the fact that, oh, but I'm sticking to the speed limit. I'm driving 120 in the fast lane. The fast lane is not necessarily for you to drive 120. We've got a saying, or at least the law that says, keep left, pass, right. Yeah. So, you know what, that's a traffic, or, um, what do you call it, ordinance, mm -hmm. eh? and even if you, you, you're not supposed to be sticking in the right lane, you're supposed to be overtaking on the right lane, go back to your All left right, lane. All let me, right, let me, let me ask you this. That's so, my so what are you saying? Are you saying now, and uh, now seriously, get in on this, mm -hmm. if, if you were get, because am, am I understanding you correctly? So, I'm driving in left lane, uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in the right lane, in the fast lane, what we call fast yeah. lane, we, you know, yeah. what we call fast lane. Mm -hmm. I'm doing 120. That's the speed limit, right? Yeah. I'm there 120. Yeah. Behind me, I see a rotor, hey, 140, 150, or whatever it is you're yeah. driving. I'm going, mm -mm, I'm not moving because I am driving what the law requires me to drive, Enough which passing. means I'm now controlling you. I am prefect the driver. Exactly. I am, that, that's <laughs> what you're saying. Yes. And I don't want you, prefect. yeah, I don't want yeah. you I'm now being the Robin Hood for the <laughs> for the traffic department. <laughs> exactly. And now I've got the attitude. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying, Dugo. Yeah. You can't be the prefect on the road. Everybody it's not your needs job. to be it's not your job. Everybody needs to take responsibility. If I choose to drive 170, unfortunately I must face the consequences mm. of driving that speed because speed limit is yeah. 120, right? Fully. Rhoda, I, but I uh, Dougal, I agree with I you say because keep left pause right. Keep left pause right. All you gotta do is just shift over. If it you're just, driving 120, shift over. You don't know what is the story. The, the, let's be realistic. Let's yeah. put it in the extreme. This person could be rushing to somebody's bedside who's passing or on their loss. Exactly. You, you have no, and that, that's their story. That's their you, you've story. You've got no idea what their story is. Mm. I agree with you. But exactly. the thing is, we, we, we're so quick to, to judge. We're so quick to, to do something. We, we you, 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 you know what I mean? So, so mm. we, and when you're driving slow, 
Oh. When the one person is driving, don't go Ooh. drive 60 next to the next exactly. person. Exactly. Or, or don't same, drive. Or drive the same speed limit. I, I, I've experienced go, this. Go home. Yes. Come drive at 3 in the morning <laughs> when I'm not on the road. Exactly. If you, especially, I'm sorry to say this, but like say the three lanes where we're especially going to town, you've got your three lanes. And you're finding it, basically all three people are driving the same speed. Please, people, I'm serious. If you really want to drive 50 to 80, Get to the slow Maybe lane. It's called protest. the slow lane for a reason. They're middle protesting. lane. And there's another thing I want to ask. What is the story with the middle lane? What is the story with the middle lane driving 80? Get to the left hand side. If you want to take your time to get somewhere, you're gonna cause an accident, get to the left hand I, I, side. I've got to tell you this, I'm right? Sorry. So I, I drive by speed that I drive. I I, 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 I seldom occasions <sighs> I go over what the speed limit is. Exactly. My, my problem is I'm sitting with a lot of speeding fines because I always drive <laughs> the same speed even in the 60s. So <laughs> well, I'm joking. But this this is my this is my 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 thing. But but the basics <laughs> is keep le left and drive where you want to drive. <laughs> the, the problem is everybody is in a rush. Exactly. Everybody, and it is very easy for us. We, we live in a time where we, we, we're very frustrated quickly. Yeah. Um, then the taxi comes in front, you blame everybody, you swerve <laughs> left and right, you don't belong <laughs> on the road, uh, all of this. So some, and, and the other thing is, let's be honest, especially if you live in a city, most of the time you have people from the Platera and the rural areas. And I'm going to use my mother mm. as an example. My mother won't cope in peak hour traffic. Mm -mm. Because you know when the news report comes on, oh, there's a station in here. That's mm. her. <laughs> so, and, and, and this is the thing. So certain people don't have it in this position they in order to yeah. deal exactly. with all of that. So mm. I feel, oh, I actually caused one of that. And here's the other thing. Because for years I've been thinking <laughs> like stationary trucks. And I'm thinking, where are these people who need the papers and the <laughs> pens? Because it's always <laughs> a stationary truck. truck that's <laughs> as never a beer <laughs> truck. <laughs> so I can go see... <laughs> or a truck with eggs. It's always papers and pens and cookies. <laughs> always stationary. <laughs> and we're in an age where it's tablets. Oh, good the one, Google. I see Hubert's got a few things there. He says, stupidity starts where logic ends. Just keep left, please. Prevents accidents on the road. Drive on the pavement. <laughs> like Dougal. <laughs> I've actually got a bit of material on that, on driving on the pavement, which is funny as well. But yeah. Um, oh, good one, good one. You're absolutely one. right. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it is a thing, and it is frustrating. It is frustrating when people don't follow the rules. They don't follow when the rules. When you don't follow the rules, it's frustrating because there are people is. who do. It is, because you know it's what? It's a very that, simple thing. That's the law. That's the rule. Keep left, pass right. Keep left, pass right. Mm. Uh, did you hear the in new interview? And now you're in trouble mm. if you do that. Exactly. There's old driving on the pavement uh -huh. and all of that. Speech at, of the pavement. They caught us. <laughs> Tell the people why they caught us in Cape Town. <laughs> because... We got the new highway patrol to go within Cape Town. So there we go. There's the vehicle. So it's. It, it is, I'm gonna kind of read a bit. Uh, the reports will be visible. But they do visible patrolling, enforce traffic laws, and respond to incidents detected through the freeway management system. The cameras, you know, those cameras is on the, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. freeways, so they can see that. Then on top of it, they got dash cams now. You know, like mm. in America, we see yeah, these yeah. movies. Yeah, no, yeah, they've been they've been doing yeah. that for a while. Yeah, and yeah. they got automated number plates recognition. So in the car. In the car. So the the staff also have body cameras now. So everything is recorded, you know. So if you walk out and they, any incident happened, they've actually got it recorded. They hope they don't do what they did in America. They switch the things off and there was a technical problem. Keep it on. What's that? Uh, oh. Like a camera thing. Oh, wow. Is that a, and it's a, like a, a drone? A okay, drone? Okay, as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it is basically for automatic, the dash cam as well, is for assist with automatic tracking for warrants. Guys, warrants has got warrants out there, duplication of number plates that were stolen vehicles and vehicles involved in crime. So, wow, it is quite extensive. And then, and then the people who drive under the influence, the idiots. Yeah, boy, yes. Be careful, because you know what? This holidays is coming up now in Cape Town is going to be very tricky. So mm. please be Not careful. Tricky. Do you know what? Let me actually mm -hmm. on this, and I think this is a good thing because there was this two years ago, three years ago. I remember this group, something it was like a WhatsApp group or what what it was, and you had these apps where they would tell you where the roadblocks were for drunken driving. Yeah. Do, do, do you remember that? I remember. And that. I at the time was quite outspoken about it because I had friends and family sending me these things, and I told them they're idiots. 
And basically simple is because you encouraging drinking and driving. Exactly. Because now you weren't driving on that road. Exactly. So you was, and it wasn't that, it was more reflective that you were still a drunken person behind the wheel. Behind the wheel. You were still trying to get away with it. Exactly. I don't. Mm, no, I'm sorry. I don't. We've got a very strict rule, like especially with Alfonso and myself when we go out, it's who's going to be you drive tonight. and I'm I'll driving, have a beer. I'm responsible, you can enjoy yourself tonight. So we've got this agreement. Otherwise tomorrow we we Uber and tomorrow we fetch exactly. a car. Exactly, they've got Uber now, we can go fetch a car tomorrow or sleep over by your friends. This is a responsible thing to do, guys. Rona, a responsible let thing. me tell you this, there is nobody. I got, okay, we're good friends. Me and your yes. husband are good friends, mm -hmm. right? There's many a friend. Who do I phone at two in the morning? Yeah, and let me exactly. be very frank. If mm -hmm. you, Rhoda, mm -hmm. if you phone me mm -hmm. at three in the morning, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, and I'm saying, if you phone me because you got a flat tire, different story. Different story. You phone me, yeah, because now, uh-uh. Mm. No, no exactly. uh, not, not come fetch me, because I can't drive. That's a different that's argument. That's different. But I've been pulled over. That, <laughs> I'm yeah. in the dwang. I'm talking about that. No, I'm not fetching you. Exactly. Face your consequences, I'm not guys. Fetching you. you were irresponsible. I will tell you I'm popping a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Take <Ding>. home. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and this is my problem. Who, who's there that I'm going to phone? Uh, I can't phone you. I'm in trouble now. You can phone me if you're at the function, you tell me to come pick you up 100%. I can pick you up immediately. Yeah. You know? And that's why I'm but saying. But not this you is being pulled over for drunk. Not you being pulled over for drunk. And that's why this is good. And some people that obviously love sporting and driving on the road, mm. as this is bad news for them, but good news for everybody else out there. Yeah. So you know what? I'm quite excited about this whole new Done, um, and be vehicles. careful. Be careful. So guys, just be careful out there. It, it comes down to just respect, man. It, it's yeah. just respect. Don't think you own the world. Yeah, just exactly. we're here to share. You know, you said it earlier. We're here to share. If mm. a bus or a taxi, just go. Don't, don't be... Mm. You, you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there was quite a bit of stuff happening this weekend as well, though, girls. So, this is one of the things that was quite exciting. And then I'm kind of going back to KwaZulu Natal. Why? And this being um, Disability Month, am I correct? Yeah. Apparently, apparently, there was a couple that basically swindled 12 million from a disability society what? in Durban. 12 million to go. South African health. South African money in Durban at the end of the day. Very sad because it's disability month and they've been found guilty and just a way she had basically she worked for the society and took sell the money, gave herself 12 big million. 12 million. So, and this is Disability Awareness Month. So for me, it's even more a case of, you know what, why do From this? somebody who worked at the society that worked at the society fully aware of the fact of what she was doing she's she admitted to it she found guilty and her husband as well so this is another thing guys you as the partner or somebody that actually fully aware of the fact of what that person is doing you are also held accountable because you know exactly yeah. what that person was doing he was also found guilty and both of them are going to be sitting there christmas which is christmas season in jail nice why 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 you know what so guys please be careful out there you're going to, you know you can do this. My, my mother and my father no, always stupid. had this thing. You could do it 99 times, but the 100th time, you will get caught. That's idiot. Exactly. That's stupid. Yeah. That's absolutely... Yeah. That, that's absolutely stupid. Uh, that's silly. That is, yeah. that is absolutely so, so, silly. So, Quick one, so we, and I'm, I've probably got a lot to say, Dougal, yeah. but you know what, as exams now, matriculants are writing exams, and you know that apparently, again, apparently, there is news of the fact that um, some students that didn't pay their school fees and some students that was pregnant wasn't allowed, in some areas apparently wasn't allowed to write their metric exams or not allowed to. So our, um, our DG, Matizani uh, Minwele, I hope I pronounced it correctly, said that nobody is allowed to not allow, the students are allowed to write. If you're mm. pregnant or even if you didn't pay your school fees, you have to go write yeah. your metric exams. No school at the end of the day are allowed to not allow the kid to write exams. So you know what, schools out there, please take but note. It has been highlighted, you're not allowed to not let the student write That's exams. once again, the stupids are being in charge because they're saying that because they want their money. You know what I'm saying? So, and you're messing with the kid's life. I'm sorry, Dougal, and I know you're not supposed to be supposed to be having suck out, you know what, intercourse or whatever in school times because of the fact that you yeah. were pregnant which is obviously also irresponsible, you know what, there is precautionary measures, but that 
child also needs to be given an opportunity. If she's not giving birth yeah. or she's just pregnant, you know what? Give an opportunity, but at least do a matric because yeah. you're putting her a step further because of the fact if she's not writing a matric exam, automatically she becomes a statistic on the fact that she's unemployed, she's having to raise a kid in, a, in circumstances where she can't actually, after she had the baby, go look for work. Because you know what? Matric is very important today. You know, you can go and get a job, but your matric is very important. Why all this back? You know? Yeah. Uh, that's just silly. Man. Yeah. That's silly. Um, and especially yeah. with school fees. <laughs> I mean, down seriously. to respect, you know what seriously. I mean? I just, I just, uh, but I'm getting over the old 12 million thing. That's <laughs> you still there. <laughs> you still there. How, many, how, many, how much money does the society have? <laughs> All right, let's quickly talk sport. It was an absolutely Ooh. big sporting weekend. For me, fantastic uh. weekend. United loses, Liverpool wins. That's how normally how it goes. And then there were bigger fish to fry, right? So now the spring box with the blitz box. You all saw what happened there in Hong Kong. Fiji took us. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> not not the not the best of results with the with the bliss box, but uh, exactly. yeah, it's okay. It's early days. Probably the Hong Kong tournament, absolutely brilliant. Uh, we haven't had a good track record there, but obviously when it gets to Dubai, we do pretty well at all the other say. tournaments. So mm -hmm. change of coaching staff and all of that. So hopefully that goes well. Then the, 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 the <laughs> ICC. T20 World Cup, another World Cup, another Protea <laughs> thing. Let me just say now quickly, because I know all the people jumping on the choking bandwagon. Okay, choking oh. is going from a winnable position where basically you snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory. <laughs> Th this is when you choke. Okay, so now for years and millions of years and a gazillion years for eons, uh, the Proteas have been called chokers, which, which it, they've, they've done well. They've mm. earned that tag. Let's, yeah. not, let's not deny. Nobody yeah. said, oh, it was unlucky. Uh-uh, you're not unlucky, al -Kakir. Anyway, so we played Netherlands. We had to beat Netherlands book a spot in the semifinals. Netherlands, 2 a.m. Saturday morning. I go to bed, 1 o'clock. I think to myself, Are Rhoda, I'm going to watch the game. Uh. But now I'm thinking, it's like watching ants walk up a wall. You know where they're going. You can see. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like watching paint dry. You know it's going to be dry. <laughs> this was my, I had that. Yeah. I wasn't going to stay up. I went to bed. Mm. I wake up. We lost against Netherlands. Netherlands. The question becomes, did Netherlands even have a cricket pitch? <laughs> no, seriously, Sisman. So, I, so Cricket South Africa says, uh, scathing shortcomings with a... Scathing, you lost by 13 runs. Scathing. The 13 shortcomings, clear. <laughs> the reality is that the team did not perform to expectations. This is what the body of cricket in South Africa, they didn't perform, they lost against every year. <laughs> Which occasional this disappointing outcome is the duty to regroup. And what do you mean regroup? You don't need to regroup. You need to abandon the group. Rebuild. <laughs> Rebuild what? How are you going to build with broken things? Based on our glaring shortcomings. What do you mean glaring at the world? Uh, you know. Let's not enter. Let's not. Do you know what? This is, you lost against Australia, it's fine. I can take that. You lose against India, I can take this is the biggest day Netherlands exactly. have had. Exactly. You've lost against people. Imagine we've got Newlands, Kingsbeach, St. George's. We've got all these amazing yeah. stadia within South Africa. Where's the... As a school field, their <laughs> national team plays on. <laughs> the people in Holland woke up this weekend going, do we have a cricket team? Do we have a cricket team? They didn't even know this. The only people <laughs> who could say we understand are the players of Bafana Bafana. I'm absolutely sorry. <laughs> no, this is terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, no way. Again, the, the, this is like the box losing against Japan. Now, oh, okay, but good luck, Proteas. Good luck, Proteas. Let's hope it goes better for the future World Cups. Once again, my expectations will be low. Now, we lost, box lost on Saturday against oh, Ireland. Yeah, the face Number changes. one team. You just took my happiness away. I, I watched the first half in the second but towards the halftime whistle and then I watched the second half. So I missed the first couple of bits. So oh. when I, when, you know, when I started what it was 6-6 six, six and all of that. And and I thought it, was a, it wasn't it was a pretty game. Uh, yeah. mm. I thought it was a game. But then it was the ref. And then, then, then I saw the forward pass. Them kicking Dugo. the ball through the ruck. We got penalized. They weren't. Because the ref apparently worked at the society where they stole the 12 million from. And the point is... <laughs> oh. Dougal, I'm sorry, but I watched the game. You know, at one point, I, I couldn't scream, I couldn't shout, I couldn't go for a walk. Um, I had to get up eventually because I was going to smash my son's television. 
Um, but I had to get up. And unfortunately, he stays in a flat, so I couldn't leave. And I couldn't scream because, you know what, the neighbors would hear me and they would call the police. Um, but all I can say is that ref can be so thankful that I wasn't there. Because if there was one player that was going to run on that field and give that ref one good hit, it was going to be me. Because I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No violence. I know I shouldn't be yeah, promoting but violence, but it's rugby. You can tackle. And I was, okay, I was going to tackle him. Let's just say I was going to tackle him. I was definitely going to tackle him. Because you know what? He looked what? like a player. They got the same socks. Oh, you know, Dougal, I watched and I could see, I, 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 I'm, I'm not... I'm not one of the best rugby people out there that knows all the rules and regulations necessarily. But you know what? Anybody that actually don't know the rules and regulations or the rules could have seen that this ref right in front of him, things were happening. Like, seriously, are you blind? Mm. And uh, my... I, ne I need to... I needed to get up and take a walk because, you know what? I just feel this many a times that a lot of refs... And I'm going to say this out there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, that... At the end of the day, the refs is given too much power. And you know what? This new rules is like, I mean, that's like starting to become like soccer. I'm sorry to say this, and especially the soccer players. I say this, it's a whole acting and the TMO gets called in. You know what? Look at these things. Why is it that when South Africa does things, it gets highlighted? But as soon as they play against an opponent or any other team, then for me, it's like, oh, didn't you see that? Is anybody blind? I mean, the four passes on Saturday. It, I mean, it was blatant forward passes. And what do they do? They play the front, the front piece, skip the middle piece with the forward pass happen, and play the end piece. Like I said, play from the prime time, the ball was passed until the forward. No, they cut out the forward pass. Like, oh, wow, look at that, you know? But, Sorry, guys. It's just like. But. but Whew, let me just but, I mean, There's a lot of argument when it comes to video referee. I think in cricket, it works well. I think mm. football still has a way to go. Rugby. Uh, they've ironed out a lot of teething things in the thing, but but it is a bit of a thing that do, do, does the ref or the the video referee, the TMO bar or that up by whatever you call mm. this person who's sitting in front of the TV, do you give them overarching uh, ability to say, listen, go back? They do that, but if it's an on-field call, you didn't see it. Oh. Do you know what I mean? I mean, is it one of those things that something goes your way, something don't go your way? That there was some glaring referee mistakes oh, in this particular game totally, and, and totally, sadly totally. when it comes to those and was it 50 50 calls and then sometimes it just goes to the home side maybe maybe it is that but the, but the ref was a bitchy below par i thought he was, a bitchy below par he was. bitchy below par you know what they need to be and i'm I, not I, a bitchy he was quite a bit below <laughs> he, wasn't he wasn't even on the uh, he, he wasn't even there you know what for me Dougal, i enjoy a rugby game oh they uh, no. no, not. I, I enjoy a rugby game when we're playing fair and square and the, 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 the referee is fair on both sides. You know what? Mm. Whatever happens, uh, he's fair both sides. It's not that he's favoriting. And you can see it when these referees basically favor uh, the opponents. Eh? You better saying if Cinderella's shoe fits perfectly, then why did it fall off? This was supposed to be. Oh, I the didn't best team we sent, yeah. and uh, seriousness and stupidity to send the, the uh, ref a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you know what? Uh, me personally, I, I know they do have like a panel that checks in with the refs and that, but you know what? What is wrong is wrong. That the refs must have the ability, people must have the ability to pull him out and say, you know what? You did this wrong, you did this wrong, you did this wrong. And we need to put... Okay, but now here's the thing. But, but now here's... Yeah, like they yeah, did with Rassi. Yeah. Look what they did with Rassi. Yeah, but now here's the thing. Boy, if we took our chances, we'd win the game. Then me and you won't be talking about the ref that was an idiot. Sorry, ref, mm. but you were. You were. Um, and you know what I mean? So there's the argument where people said, yeah, we didn't have a reliable goal kicker. I don't care. That was In my not school the issue. team, the guy who was the hooker could kick. Exactly. So you're telling me the old Springbok team you can't kick? Obviously there's kickers. So you can't say we don't have reliable goal kickers. The people who's in the team, they can do whatever they need to do. So that's not an argument. And I that wasn't the argument. For me, it wasn't the kicking because I can tell you that especially the one try was blatant unfairness that wasn't supposed to happen. So, I mean... Both yeah, tries were four passes, them, yeah. so you know what? If you really had to look, then those tries wasn't supposed to And the video rev, where was he watching? Exactly. Was he, did he do one of those, and then, yeah, exactly. sorry, and I he missed it, it, and then they didn't... Exactly. I'm just saying, Whew, that's how it is. Let me not so get was excited. It, it wasn't the best of week, Whew. but on a highlight, the Fast Five, netball, oh, yeah. they, they came second, well done, second. The weekend, that's right. Yeah, no, no, that's great. It was a tournament. I think Australia won. Uh, the fast five netball, which is... Uh, uh, 
Yeah. You told me it's it like an action netball. The, it's some, I think it's something like it. It's a fast five netball world mm. series in yeah, South yeah, Africa. Yeah. Okay. Second. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the games. I was swearing at the TV because of cricket and rugby. Um, uh, but yeah, and Banyana, Banyana, of course. Oh, man, our ladies, ladies has been doing so oh, proper, well. Hats, proper, proper. Hats off to our ladies. And proper. then obviously the weekend, we had Grand Parade turned into a beach, apparently, because they had volleyball yeah. series there as well, you know? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I was trying to figure out who was the winners, but if anybody out there could tell me who won, send me a message and let me the know. The Brazilians are good and the <laughs> Spanish are really good at this. Um, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because so I just... Volleyball is easy, man. Yeah. It's, and it's, I'm glad it was at the Grand Parade. It was close to Parliament because that's what they do. They pass the ball. <laughs> anyway, all right. So uh, thank you very much thank you for guys. watching, though. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing good. Uh, I'm still upset me. about the cricket, man. Do you and know what I mean? No, no, look, I can, I can take the island one. <laughs> Even if the ref was playing for the Irish team, I can take that. Uh, because Ireland's a good team. My Netherlands, man. The Netherlands, really? Shining. If you lost against Sri Lanka, would yeah. a recognized test nation? Netherlands, the Netherlands. Netherlands. Like honestly, mm. show me, guys. Netherlands. <laughs> Have a fabulous week. It was actually just lovely talking about what happened the weekend and what's happening in oh. our country. And you know what? Just checking in with each other. Because sometimes I think we're all wanting to vent and probably wanting to hear somebody saying exactly what you saw. So you know what? That's Google and my opinions. So you know what? The end game is simple, Rhoda. Whether you are in a shop looking at Christmas <laughs> trimmings or on the road or supporting your favorite team, it's all about courtesy, man. Just have a good totally. time and look after yourself. Exactly. And, and that's the definition of a lady and a gentleman. To make so, sure everybody around them is as comfortable as possible. As possible, yeah. <laughs> have a that fabulous nice. week, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe, hit this bell, and share, share, share this video. Cheers. Bye.